but you'll see equipment that is actually older than the company. It goes back into the 1860s, 1870s. I like to think that the people who still run this equipment are blacksmiths and people who forge tools are as, as much artists as the people who are using the tools. I like to say it's artists making tools for artists. So this machinery lends itself to making a reasonable quantity, a small volume of tools in a very precise, consistent fashion. And that's why we still use it. Picture a C clam, uh, the basic shape of a C that the top of that C is going to come down and slam into. And that's exactly what a trip hammer does. The top of that C moves up and down, comes down in contact with the bottom of that C clamp, but where it meets, there's a tremendous amount of force applied. And in the hands of a skilled operator, uh, it can just about do anything with a piece of hot metal. When you take something as hard as metal, and start to move it, or remove it, or reshape it to the way you want to. It, it, it's not an easy task. It doesn't give up easily. We have some lathes, uh, computer-controlled lathes that are brand new, incredibly accurate, down to the tenths of the thousandth of an inch. So if you compare those two uh, with a trip hammer, let's say, that uh, maybe was accurate, plus or minus a quarter of an inch, it's pretty striking the difference between the two.